Before the cold weather hits, we will of course be raking leaves and cleaning the yards, maybe trying to declutter our homes and garages, but there's one very important thing you need to know before you get back to work. Uh, before you throw everything out on the curb, you might be surprised to see it's still there after trash day comes and goes. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester spent some time with Detroit's Public Works Department. He joins us live and Hank, residents might be surprised to hear that all of our trash is not the full responsibility of the city. That's very true, and we hit the road with DPW to help kind of get the word out as they prepare for the fall pickups, which are usually bigger. Uh, you can see here behind me, trash day tomorrow in this neighborhood. They've done everything right. The people on this block, you can see the yard waste and the right bags across the street trash in the trash cans here right in front of me. We're talking about problems with bigger items, bulk, bulk items, couches, refrigerators. You have to know when to take those items out to the curb. It's trash day. But if you have a pile like this in front of your home, the trucks will come and go and the trash will remain. It's piled all the stuff out at the curb, which clearly exceeds the one cubic yard. One cubic yard. For Detroiters, that's how much bulk material you're allowed to put on the curb every other week. Like this couch with this on it right here. They'll pick that up for free, as long as that does not include construction or any hazardous material. So what happens if you're over the limit? Either A, contact the city for a paid pickup, B, rent a dumpster. If you can't rent a dumpster and get rid of it on your own, call the city. They will come out, give you a price, and take the pile themselves. But if you leave it there, you could get a ticket. This homeowner now looking at a $1,000 fine, but the city would have only charged $100 to take it away. We'll take it away for a very reasonable fee for you. Now remember, we're talking about bulk material being thrown at the curb. We're not talking about regular trash. That and yard waste is unlimited as long as it is packaged the right way. Brush should be bound and tied such as this so that it's easily manipulated by our drivers. If you can't bundle it, use paper bags. Remember, every other week you will see a yard waste truck, a recycling truck, and a bulk material truck. We'd like our customer base to be considerate of their neighbors, of their neighborhoods. Um, with a little bit of help from everybody, we can continue to make a difference. And if you still have questions about what to put out and on what days, DPW makes it very easy mapping it all out by neighborhood on the DPW website. We'll put a link on our website, clickondetroit.com. It's really just about working with the city to make the city look a little bit cleaner. We're live here tonight in Boston Edison. Hank Winchester, back to you. All very good information, Hank, and I actually had to learn the hard way. I thought that if I had more recyclables that I could just put them on the side near the trash and they left them there. Whoa. Fortunately, I didn't get a ticket, which brings me to my question is, will they warn you before they're about to give you a ticket if you leave things out on the curb? Yeah. Yes, they will give you 48 hours notice. They will give you that time. They'll put a, a note on the door. We're in the mailbox, give you 40, 48 hours. If you don't clean it by then, then yes, you are likely going to get that ticket. So you got lucky this time, Kate Yeah, Gale, I know. Next time. <laughs> Thank goodness. Next, time, I, next I, time you may get that ticket. That's right. I don't want to learn the hard way. I appreciate your story. All right, Hank, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.